Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. We have a word from Lynette. God humbles the proud. Watch yourself, y'all. Go right ahead, Lynette. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Pat. Uh, the Lord gave me this word, and my foundation scripture is uh, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 6. And I will read that to you. Humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. I think I'll go on to seven. Casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. So that is my foundational scripture. And the Lord was showing me in my own life, because I can use my own life as a, an example of, uh, you know, he resists the proud. In my uh, life, prior to knowing the Lord and fearing the Lord, I was a very materialistic, very uh, haughty, arrogant individual. Um, I came from not a, a, a lot of money, but I, I come from, I guess you could say close to money or whatever, but we weren't, we weren't filthy rich, but we weren't poor either. But there was a certain attitude um, uh, in my culture, they call it bougie, bougie. And, you know, you know, oh, I have to have this and we have to shop at Saks Fifth Avenue and we've got to, it has, it's got to be a Tiffany and all that, that, that nonsense. So I, I grew up with that, that type of attitude. And then, of course, you know, uh, my, my um, caregivers, my mom and my dad and, you know, relatives were very materialistic and always about things and, 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 and making oneself, uh, you know, better. Or I can't associate with those types of people. And we don't go on that side of town. And we don't, we don't eat that and this and that and the other. And I had that. So... When the Lord saved me, I, I, I learned real quick, I found out real quick that my family started talking about me like a dog. Um, all of a sudden, I was the black sheep. I was, I was always the black sheep anyway, but I was really the black sheep. And I became an outcast. They cast me out of their, um, you know, circle. And um, I, I didn't quite understand what was happening and didn't realize that God was working that that ugliness, that, that proud spirit out of me. And, you know, I was going to church all the time. I forgot to mention that. I was in church, and I was in a church full of prideful sheep, too. Prideful sheep, okay? A, a church that was full of them. And all they talked about was, oh, the Lord is going to bless you, and if you're not getting blessed, that means you don't have faith. I was taught that nonsense, you know, that, you know, the, the way you know that you're good with God is because you got a Bentley and you've got a mansion and all that other stuff. All of that stuff God had to deal with me, boy, and it was painful. I went through so much, um, oh, my goodness, doors being closed in my face, losing jobs, getting evicted, being homeless. Um, oh, my goodness, uh, people I thought were my friends, my so-called homies and all that stuff, just everybody just kind of like turned me away. And I actually, um, I got mad at God. And I, I got real smart mouth with the Lord one night, and I told him, you know, a thing or two, and I was really smart, and I even accused him of being a child abuser and everything. And <clears throat> boy, oh boy, oh man, it just got worse. When I did that, now I know, looking back, I know now why it got worse. God was showing me, I'm going to show you what a child abuser is. I'm going to show you. Your attitude, I'm going to show you you. I mean, every door was closed. Nothing I touched, everything I touched just fell apart. And one night, <clears throat> on a job that he had uh, been merciful enough to allow me to have, it was a, a live-in job with a, um, for the uh, elderly. And, you know, you take care of them and all that stuff. And I happened to be in the, the um, staff sleeping room because I had a bedroom there. And I was in there, and for some reason, I just, over, I just got, I got really, really sad. And I said, "Lord, why is all this stuff happening to me? What did I do?" And then He reminded me of my attitude and what I said to Him. And I said, "Lord, I am so sorry. I apologize. I didn't mean to say that." He said, "The reason you're here is because my love, I love you, and my grace has allowed you to have this job." And he said, things will get better if you leave your, you know, change your attitude and humble yourself. And I, and I did. And it didn't happen overnight, but um, I have to say that it's been a long road. But as I began to humble myself, I began to stop using and manipulating people. I was a Jezebel. Oh, my gosh, I was horrible. 
manipulative and all of that. But as I begin to stop using people and loving people and being caring in my heart and really being for real and getting rid of my narcissistic ways, all that ugly stuff, God began to bless me, and it's been going on that way ever since. And he has brought me into some um, places that I never thought I would be, you know, uh, in front of some very important people. Every job I've had from, from there on has been with the owner of the company. I've had nothing but, but God's favor on my life since then. So it is true. I've lived that scripture. God resists the proud. And if you don't humble yourself, God will humble you. And that is uh, my testimony, and that is scripture, First Peter uh, chapter 5, verse 6. He does resist the proud. So if you got a nasty attitude, I would advise you on this day to uh, consider getting an attitude adjustment because if you don't, God will adjust it for you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Wow. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> that was a good message. Yes. Excellent. Whoa, yay. Hold on, the rabbit was gone. I mean, that was the rabbit glory. The rabbit was glory. I lived it. I lived it. <laughs> wow. That's why he told you think Mary. I think Mary, the mother of Jesus, little servant, humble, nothing girl, and he chose her. I mean, humble, humble, humble. Being humble is powerful. It's yes. strength and being humble. It's power and being humble, y'all. There's favor and being humble. There's mm -hmm. healing and being humble. That's right. There's there, there yeah. is promotion be in being humble. Being humble, baby, is powerful. The humble are really the powerful. That's right. The meek shall inherit the earth. Amen to that. That's right. Amen. Yep. I remember, I've been praying I, I, that I, I, the Lord would humble me more lately. Very, it's very important. You can't serve the Lord if you're proud. You just can't. Yep. That's right. That's right. You can't. He's going to resist you at every turn. He's showing me. You know, you guys, I asked, I asked the Lord, I said, could you give me a visual of um, how, how you resist the proud look? He said, you know how you put your hand up and you say, talk to the hand? He said, that's what I do. He said, picture me. Put my hand up saying, I don't, I don't, uh huh. That's, that's, that's how, yep, yeah, just like that did it. That's right. That's how I, he, he showed me. He said, I resist you. I don't even hear you. Talk to the hand because I, the elbow, don't understand. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. That is crazy. I'm, I'm like that with uh, people I counsel. If they act like they don't want to hear it, and I and 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 they kind of let me know that that whatever, you know, I'm like, cool, I'm done. And uh, you know, uh, God knows who wants to grow. God knows who wants to learn. And when you really want it, you'll hear it over and over and over again till you get it right. You'll work it over and over and over again till you get it right. And there are times when God will humble you so low that it feels like everybody's feet is on top of your head. Oh, is that not the truth? Yes. It feels like everybody's feet is on top of your head. And you're like, when, Lord, when do I get to rise to the occasion? Why do I always have to be under? Why do I always have to be at the at ground level? Why do I always have to be the one that everybody else above me looks down on? And the whole time, see, we don't realize, I was telling the young lady this week, to whom the Bible says, to whom much is given, much is required. And when God puts a whole lot in your arsenal, baby, there's going to be a whole lot of requirements on your behind. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, I will use, I'll use my baby sister as an example. She is such a wonderful businesswoman. On top of that, she dropped dead gorgeous. And she's got personality to beat the band. She'll have you cracking up to the point of tears. But the woman has had so many areas of resistance while she worked her business. Why? 
She's highly skilled. She's highly knowledgeable. God was working things in her, working things out of her as a woman of God, representing him in business. That's her pulpit. And guess what? She has grown in leaps and bounds. And God has blessed and prospered her business. Why? Because she allowed herself to be corrected. She would call me and I would be on her case of one end down the other. And she received it. She took it. She took it. She took it. She didn't see it all the time, but she took it. And she yeah. worked it. She worked it. And her relationship with God now and her walk with God now is much better than it was back then because she started seeking. She sought counsel. She sought correction. She sought every the, the, the advice she needed, how to handle this according to the word, not the flesh. And she has grown in leaps and bounds. And her business has grown. Why? She humbled herself. The only way up, y'all, in God's scheme of things, is down. 